So we're here in Buras, Louisiana, uh, near the boot tip of the mouth of the Mississippi River in southeastern Louisiana in Plaquemines Parish. Um, we can talk about resilience in terms of coastal systems, resilience to uh, hurricanes and coastal disasters in a couple different ways. This landscape used to be more like this, it used to be more wooded, swamp, etc. This is even pretty disturbed over here. But um, for you know several centuries now, people have been coming in and, and um, changing this landscape. And so when we talk about resiliency, we can talk about the infrastructure, but we also need to talk about the people um, aspect of, of stuff here. And so a key aspect of that resilience is can people uh, live a healthy, um, a rewarding life in these systems? And part of that is making sure people have access to healthy, affordable food. And so we're right here installing um, this year's food garden um, in the on the property of uh, Carol Arsenault, the Arsenault family, and their their uh, kids, and and now happily uh, first grandkid. Um, and so this garden is a huge resource. So fantastic um, soils down here, a part of the natural uh, uh, abundance of this part of our country. This part of our country, um, and it's fantastic for growing. It's hard to grow because it is so silty. We have to make sure we have some some amendments and things cut in. But if you do that, it's a fantastic place to grow. As we go up and look um, at this overall landscape, what we see is this system is highly perturbed, right? So the resilience is made that much harder, be it food resilience. Um, um, infrastructure resilience, whatever. As we look over um, eastward, we will see uh, a levee. That levee is the Mississippi River, and then just beyond, you'll see the Mississippi River. Uh, could be some ships in there, um, it could be blank, but that is a heavily trafficked area, even if there isn't a ship in there that this exact instant. Um, so we have the levee on that side, and then if we turn and look uh, to the west, we see in, well, well, we'll see the, the 23 freeway, but then on the other side of that freeway, that two lane freeway right now, um, we see a um, uh, another levee. That levee is protecting this landscape from encroachment by the Gulf of Mexico, from the ocean. So we have this little teeny, literally sliver of land. Building resilience is hard when we limit our options. And so when we have uh, not a lot of food opportunities, not a lot of um, um, stores where people can get a healthy, affordable, um, nutritious food, that's hard. When we constrain the landscape so that we don't have the um, natural ecosystem services that would replenish the soil and, and act to, to augment the critters and, and, and everything in this whole ecosystem, as they have evolved uh, and co-evolved, over the, the millennia here, and that makes it that much harder. As we've abandoned and not supported the, the human communities here, it's that much harder, again, to build a resilient, vibrant, um, healthy um, coastal system. So um, folks here in Lower Plaquemines are, are still here, still working, still, still a fighting the good fight, but it is getting harder to be resilient. This story here is a story that plays out all across coastal zones across the planet um, and is something we all need to be concerned with, not just the folks that immediately live here or live next to them. This is um, a true cultural concern in terms of resilient, healthy communities living in and around coastal systems, in and around areas exposed to increasing frequency and intensity of natural disasters and other stressors.